Hey folks, and welcome back to KK Renewables Metal Recovery Channel. Today, we're going to scrap out some HP Aruba wireless access points. From these, we can recover aluminum, copper, steel, silver, palladium, nickel, and yes, even gold. All right, folks, let's get into it. Today, we're going to scrap out some Aruba wireless access points that are made by Hewlett Packard. Aruba is Hewlett Packard's networking brand. Um, as you can see, uh, this is a AP205H. What we're going to do is we're going to take this apart and see what's on the inside. We've got from the outside, just looking in, we've got four network ports. This is metal. It feels like it might be aluminum. Um, got four screws here. Just a rubber plate. This is plastic. Um, and you probably can't see this on the camera, but this is uh, one of those security locking Torx bits. This is not the right size, but hopefully you can see inside that one. Uh, the security bits have the uh, hollow center. The Torx fits into there, and then there's a little a little button or a knob on the inside of the screw that fits into the security lock. So if you're going to get any of these and you want to scrap any of these out, you need to make sure that you've got some security bits. Not to try to give a plug for Timu or anything like that, but I bought this, this handy dandy little um, screwdriver set. It comes with every small little bit you could ever want um, in one kit. And it Folds up really nicely and uh, stores really neatly. So if you see that on Timu, it's worth a while. I've used mine for a while and I haven't had any um, damaged bits or anything like that. That's my biggest concern when I'm buying these cheap uh, screwdriver sets off of eBay or Timu or even Lowe's for that matter. Um, I want them to last for a while and uh, this one's lasted a good while. All right, let's go ahead and get into it. Um, let's see what's on the inside of, of this one here. All right, let's go ahead and crack this open. I've already preloaded my drill bit with my Torx bit that fits. You want to start off really slowly with these um, when you're, if you're using a drill bit because you can strip the heads pretty quickly. When you hear it crack and you, and you know you've got a good bite on that screw, then you can turn up the, the pressure on the drill bit a little bit, turn up the speed a little bit. But you don't want to strip these little, these little, these Torx heads or anything because, um, you know, there's only one of this particular size in this kit. And if you strip it, then, um, you know, for what I need it for, that piece becomes useless to me. All right, let's go ahead and break this open. I am using gloves because I've cracked open a few of these already. This is just all plastic. I'm gonna put that over here out of the way. Um, I have cracked a few of these open and there's some slimy stuff on the inside of here. I don't know what it is. I don't think it's toxic. I certainly hope it's not toxic, but I don't like the way it feels on my fingers. So I'm gonna wear gloves. All right. There's also some Phillips head screws that are on the antennas. These are the bi-directional antennas that are part of the, the Aruba wireless access point. All right, so we just have a few screws right here. Um, I'm gonna just collect them with a little magnet. I find it really helpful to keep a magnet on hand to to hold and collect, you know, the screws. I just have a small one on hand today because I know that these are the only screws I'm gonna be taking out of here, and it holds everything. And then when I get um, done, 
I can just grab one end of the, the magnet and swipe all the, the screws off into my steel bucket. Okay, there's some plastic um, clamps here that are holding things on. That just pulls right up and off. And right out of the gate, I notice that there's really not much on here that I would traditionally go after. There's some gold pins inside this receiver here. Um, there's uh, copper. You know, under this in this transformer, there's copper in this. You got to break that open also to get to it. There's copper in these toroid coils. Um, I'm really um, I'm going to go after those and I'm going to I'm going to reclaim that stuff. But I'm really interested in all of these light colored MLCCs. Now I understand from people to say that you know, if you look at the color, that tells you absolutely nothing about what the materials are inside it. But I do want you to, to pay attention. Um, these MLCCs, you know they're capacitors, and these capacitors are multi-layer ceramic capacitors. That's what MLCC stands for. And you've, if you notice, they on the on the circuit boards, all of their circuit board component numbers start with a C. C is in Charlie. All right. So you want to go after these, and. Depending upon the manufacturing year, these can be really, really good or uh, almost worthless for what you want to, for what we're doing here. Um, by really, really good, I mean they can contain silver and palladium. Not so good, they can be nickel, aluminum, things like that on the inside. So um, the way that you, the way that you tell whether they're good or not for precious metal recovery is to test them with a magnet. So we're gonna do that today also. We're gonna take this particular board out to the heat gun and we're gonna take off a series of these MLCCs. I'm gonna show you how to do that. And then we're gonna test them with a magnet. Uh, we're also gonna take off these toroids and we're gonna take off the copper from here as well. Um, there are gold bonding wires in these ICs. So those are good to grab also. And this IC, we're going to grab everything off of here that we can because we want to we want to reclaim as much of these metals as we possibly can. All right. Let's keep going. So here we have just a, you know, paper trash. The the antenna structure, the antenna arrays are held on to the lower motherboard here um, with their with copper cabling. This just pulls off. And this is what I was telling you earlier was um, kind of slimy. I don't know what this stuff is actually called. I noticed that it's on like most electronics. They are these heat pads. I'm sure that they um, vibration that they um, reduce vibrations or suppress vibrations. I'm also sure that they allow for heat exchange between the hotter components and the aluminum casing. Um, the aluminum case is ribbed here, and if you mount it vertically, you know, either way you mount it, um, vertically, the heat will rise up between these ribs and produce a natural convection current. But um, for our purposes, we don't want any of this stuff, this really green, super slimy stuff. It's just trash as far as I'm concerned. I don't know what it is. but it's all over everything. And if you get it on your fingers, it's got a very oily consistency to it. So I'm just gonna wipe all that off and throw it away. All right, let's go ahead and do some testing on these the metals that we're pulling off. So earlier I'd said I keep a magnet around. This is a small project, so I'm just keeping this little small magnet. Oh, look at this. You can see that oily stuff on the, the palms of my hands here. Yeah, I don't, I don't care for that. Um, okay, so... you got to center my picture a little bit better here. Um, anyway, um, this magnet does not stick. This is aluminum. Get rid of this plastic, rubbery plastic piece right here too. Throw that in the trash. All right, so this is aluminum. This is going to go into the aluminum pile. Uh, there are about 80 of these. 
in this pile. So I've done a good amount of, of recovery of, of these um, Aruba wireless access points at this point. Okay, like I said, the array, the antenna array, uh, is affixed to the circuit board with these small gold connections. These are all gold plated. Um, they're heavily gold plated, so they're, uh, what I understand, they're heavily gold plated, so they're pretty good. Um, so I'm going to take off each one of these. I'm also going to take off this, this heat pad right here. Again, I'm calling it a heat pad. I don't know its technical name, but I've got a ton of these. So I'm thinking maybe I'll just, uh, you know, maybe I'll try to resell these on eBay. They're, they're pretty good. Okay, so I'm going to continue on taking these, these ends off here. All right. This has become a little harder to pull off because you can see, maybe you can see, you know, there's this oily film here underneath that heat pad. It's made everything pretty slimy. So this should be aluminum also. I haven't tested this with a magnet yet, so we'll both be learning here. Yep. Okay, so this is just a, this is just aluminum. I've got a bunch of these saved up as well. They'll go to the aluminum recycler along with all of these, uh, all of the heat sink cases here. I'm gonna take, and I'm just gonna pull off these gold connector ends. They just pull right off. There's a couple of them that, that are kind of difficult to get off, um, but for the most part, they're almost all easy to do. Um, super small copper wiring inside here. I'm gonna put these in the e-waste pile because I don't, rec I don't reclaim um, super small copper wire. It just takes a long time. And then here are those gold ends. They look really nice. Um, like I said, I understand they have thick gold plating on them, so they're better than those coaxial ends for the antennas for your smaller PCs and your thin client applications. I'll put those in my in my pin pile. And then I've also got um, these. So these caps should just be aluminum also. Oh, they're not. Look at that. These caps are steel. Huh. Okay, learn something all the time. I'm going to put these in my steel pile. But under the caps, I can get this junk off. There are BGA chips. So each one of these has BGA chips underneath it. Those two anyway do. I'm gonna pop this one off and see what it's got. Okay. <clears throat> so as you can, so as you can see, We've got BGA here, BGA here, BGA here. This is also a BGA chip, but these flip chips, they take the, 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 the IC, the integrated circuit die, they flip it over and they solder it directly to the leads that go out to the, to the BGA chip, um, to the BGA, to the ball grid array solder balls. 
on the on the board itself. So there's no gold bonding wires like there are in these. This is why you see so many you know, YouTube scrappers and e-wasters completely ignore these. So here we have um, connections. We've got uh, LAN connections um, where you plug in your network LAN and um, maybe your, your LAN and WAN interface connections. They are going to be gold plated also. These large um, these large black bo uh, blocks right here, you can see this symbol. This is an inductor symbol. So you can tell these all have copper windings in them. No precious metals though, no uh, gold or silver in those. Turning the board over, I don't know if this will come off or not. Okay, absolutely nothing underneath there that I'm going to be going after anyway. And let me test the metal that came off. Wow, that's steel also. Okay, I don't know if this one will come off. Uh, that comes off, but it is really difficult to get off. Okay, nothing underneath there that I'll be going after either. These two little plastic standoffs, we're just going to pull those off, throw those in the trash. I'll be pulling off these MLCCs and testing those also. There's a nice IC chip. It's going to have gold bonding wires in it. Here's a either a regulator or a transistor. It might have three gold bonding wires in it or none, but it does have copper legs on it. Gold plated pins right here and here. And then also you've got a push button, a push button switch. And anytime we have a push button switch, we have silver. So there's a small silver button in there also. Okay, let's go outside and I'm gonna focus on this one because I really wanna see what these MLCCs, I wanna see if those MLCCs are magnetic or not. All right, let's go outside. All right, folks, we are outside now. I hope you can see that all right. It's got some shadows in the in the, the picture. Um, we're gonna take these components off with a heat gun. So the very first thing we wanna do is we're gonna take all these capacitors off. The reason you wanna take your capacitors off is because, ooh, I didn't even see that. There's copper windings there as well. The reason you wanna take off your, your electrolytic capacitors, not your ceramic capacitors, but your electrolytic capacitors is because they have juice in them and when that juice gets hot it expands and those things just they just blow up on you so we don't want we don't want any of that happening today all right so let's go ahead and get this get the get the heat gun on here how did i miss this there's a great big one all right let's go ahead and get the heat gun on here and we'll just rake everything off of this board You certainly don't have to heat the entire board and take everything. You just want to get it hot enough to where you can knock the components off. And if you have a heat gun that has a smaller aperture in, you can make your heat more targeted. But I don't have that, so I'm just going to heat up everything and knock it all off the board.
This stuff gets just super hot, so you want to be really careful, especially if you're just wearing latex gloves like this. You want to make sure that you don't melt the gloves onto your skin. You can see the capacitors are all starting to fall off. It's a lot easier if you have two hands and you've got something to scrape these off with. I could just use the end of the, you know, the heat gun, I guess. See how much easier that is to scrape off? I don't like using the heat gun. I don't recommend doing that. I actually recommend using two hands. Um, so if you have some helping hands, those little clip helping hands, that's a really good idea. Or if you can mount your heat gun some way. I don't recommend using your heat gun to scrape things off. But, you know, for, for the purpose of this video, we'll do that. All right, this board's clean with the exception of some some pin receptacles on it that, that I can pull those off with a with a pair of pliers. Okay, we're gonna put this over here. We're gonna go back inside. We're gonna see what we got. All right, folks, we are back inside, and let's just check out what we have in here. So here you can see this is. You can see the two contacts right here. Those contacts are gold plated also, and there's copper windings on the inside there. You see these little devices here. These are IC chips or transistors. They're all gonna have one gold bond wire per LED leg. And this is what we were really going after. All these MLCCs. Sorry about that, my GoPro battery died. Um, as you know, the, the, with, with batteries, the, the, when the batteries get warm, their efficiency rating drops. So it's probably what's going on here. My GoPro was pretty hot. Okay, got some melted plastic there. It's always an unfortunate side effect of using the heat gun. Okay, so here we have some more IC chips. Right here we have a resistor. There's silver in those resistors. Um, but let's go ahead and where I'm going to collect all these MLCCs and we're going to put them to the magnet test.
All right, so here we are. Here we have all of our MLCCs. We're gonna put them down on the a table right here. I'm gonna get my magnet. All right, here we have our, our hard drive magnet. I like to use the magnets that have these ends on them. They stand off away from the magnet about maybe a half an inch. Um, and that's a that's a nice distance to, to try to pick these magnets up. Let's see if we can get a, a close-up. I'm gonna use the iPhone to see if I can get a, a nice close-up of whether or not these magnets are being, whether or not this magnet is picking these up or not. All right, so here I have my magnet, my close-up. I'm just gonna run this magnet over the tops of these. Look at that. Picked up every single one of them. That's a bummer. Okay, well now we know what's inside these HP Aruba wireless access points. We have steel, we have aluminum, we have these MLCCs which are magnetic. Let's see if I can knock them off. This is a very powerful computer magnet. And you know, they're falling off, or some of them are falling off. I don't, I don't rightly know what that means. Somebody tell me what you think. Do you think from a computer magnet that I can barely pull apart with my hand, if I'm able to just knock these off, are those the good MLCCs, the non-magnetic MLCCs, or are they not the not so good magnetic MLCCs? You tell me, I feel like I have inconclusive results here. Okay, all right. All right, so as you can see, I have scrapped out a good number of these. Um, I've got 80 or so of them that I've scrapped out. You can see the, the, the large pile of, um, of uh, aluminum housings. There's two of them, because I've got them stacked alternate. For every one of these flat pieces right here, there's two of them. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. Um, almost four stacks of of 11. So like I said, there's two of them in each one of these stacks. So that's 22 times four, 88 or so, nine, net 20, so 91, 92 of these, of these. And I was really, this was what I was going after. This is the test I was wanting. And sometimes it's disappointing, right? Sometimes you don't get the, the results you expect or the results you really want, because I really wanted some of these that had some palladium in them. So these are MLCCs, multi-layer ceramic capacitors. And like I said, some of these, the they just fall off. This is a really powerful magnet. Nothing's fallen off of this unless it's not as magnetic as it could be. So um, please let me know what you what you think about that. Um, there's a lot of these. So when you think about this entire entire box, right? I've got a ton of those capacitors. And if it's worth it, I'm going to take the, the MLCCs off of each one of these. All right, folks, I hope you've enjoyed this, um, this review and this scrap of a HP AP205H. This is a wireless access point by HP's Aruba Networking. And it's got 
Again, as a recap, on the inside, it's got MLCCs, it's got some copper windings, it's got some IC chips. It's got some decent BGA IC chips. Gold pins in these LAN connectors and a lot of easy to get at aluminum. I mean, it might be worth it just to scrap these out for the aluminum. I mean, just, just these pieces here alone, it's probably a pound right here. There's probably three or four, um, I don't know, it's probably 10 pounds here of, of aluminum. So, you know, at 50 cents a pound, you know, it's five bucks. So it's, 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 worth, it's worth my while, um, as, especially as I get these parts for free. So um, I wanna say thank you. I want to say thank you for your time. Thank you for your support. And I'll see you on the next one. Please remember to like and subscribe so we can get these metals out of the waste stream and back into the production stream. Thank you and have a great day.